final, uh, the countdown has finally ended. As we know, the lander has separated from the rover. This is India Today bringing you the Chandrayaan 3's successful um, separation of the lander and the rover. India achieves a huge mega milestone indeed. The mission Chandrayaan 3, as we know, has now uh, so far been as per plan. It's achieved a massive milestone as the separation has just happened. The lander and the rover has managed to separate successfully. Pramod Madhav, who's tracking those developments. Pramod, uh, countdown has finally ended. The lander Vikram separates from its mothership. And this is exactly as per planned. It's, it's going to be another five days until it touches the surface of the, the moon's south pole. India to be the first country to do so. So far, it's been absolutely going as per planned. Another milestone that India has achieved here. It absolutely is. The Chandrayaan orbit has crossed almost 3.8 lakh kilometers, the distance between Earth and the Moon, and it has reached the spot. And now the ISRO, after the separation, what they will do is that the propulsion module will be going on a circular orbit 100 kilometers above the Moon's surface. But the lander module will have a different path, an elliptical path, which will be uh, like as planned, should be between 30 kilometers near closest point to 100 kilometers. And like as it goes around this particular orbit, it, the, uh, the uh, soft landing will be uh, uh, the time and uh, time has already been decided as 23, 23rd of August. And after all the checks been done, ISRO will go ahead for that. ISRO has been in each and every step has been very calculative and made sure that like the exact thrust has been given, the exact method has been given. In fact. In this particular one, the, the uh, lander module was about the thrust module, the propulsion module, and after separation, it has to stabilize itself, and it's a kind of 3D stabilization because ISRO has to make sure that it does not spin out of control, and the actual uh, way of landing will be vertical and in a slant position. All this will be calculated, and uh, like from five days from now, they will go ahead with the landing process. All right, so the actual countdown has finally begun today, or, or just this minute, if I may say. Uh, here is India achieving uh, a massive milestone when it comes to moon mission. Chandrayaan-3 has finally uh, managed to separate the actual lander from the rover. Vikram-3 separates from the mothership itself, and now that heads towards the moon's surface. Nagarjun Dwarkanath is also joining us uh, for more on that. Nagarjun, after that disappointing uh, uh, loss of communication that happened with Chandrayaan 2, Chandrayaan 3 has been on point by and large. We see that all, the fifth and final moon maneuver has completed and now Vikram has separated from the mothership and in about five days time, soft landing is likely to take place. It will be attempted on the 23rd of August. That's another five days from now. Uh, how amazing is this feeling and, and a big achievement indeed for India? Well, that's absolutely true. In fact, uh, it's a, it's a feeling that your own child has, you know, you see them grow over and reach a successful stage because I was on the launch day in Sri Kota, like I saw the launch happen right in front of my eye and today you can imagine that the same thing that we saw live is reaching the moon surface that you wouldn't imagine in a, in a, layman's, uh, a layman's life. So it's quite exciting for us also here back home, the tracking centre, the command centre, ISRO headquarters is in Bengaluru, all positive uh, notes as what we are saying. I just put a few people inside ISRO headquarter there saying the mood is upbeat. It was a successful separation between the propensial module as well as the lunar module. The lander has now completely separated by the by, uh, with the mothership or the propensial module. It's on the way to land on the moon, uh, the lunar surface around 23rd August around 5.45 or 5.35 uh, p.m. in the evening and all eyes will be for the next five days on that lander. Uh, right now it's still rotating or ro orbiting around the moon surface and on the final day it's going to move uh, from horizontal direction to the vertical direction that maneuver is pending and, init and initially the velocity will have to decrease before landing. This time around they have made quite a number of changes from Chandrayaan 2 to Chandrayaan 3. The landing space itself has been widened. It's uh, 4.5 kilometers in the width. Uh, uh, length to 2.5 kilometer in the width. In this square box, the lander can land in any spot. Uh, earlier in Chandrayaan 2, the spot was much smaller. Here, they have put on a wider sp uh, space for the lander to land. And second thing, uh, two, per, 2 meter per second was the average velocity uh, impact that they could take. And now they have increased. Even if the acceleration is at 3 meter per second, the rover or the uh, lander can still withstand 
and also all the data that they had in Chandrayaan 2 and what exactly the errors were caused, all of them have been addressed in Chandrayaan 3. So the ISRO team here in Bengaluru are quite hopeful that Chandrayaan 3, come, Chandrayaan 3 come what may, will land on August the 23rd on the surface of the moon and it will be a big successful machine. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics. Koi ke se dula hua nahi hai. Unmatched eye, unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's hundred percent news that matters, it's news today with Rajdeep Sardesai, Monday to Friday 9 p.m. only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics. Koi ke se dula hua nahi hai. Unmatched eye, unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's hundred percent news that matters, it's news today with Rajdeep Sardesai, Monday to Friday 9 p.m. only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics. Koi dud ke se dula hua nahi hai. Unmatched eye, unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's hundred percent news that matters, it's news today with Rajdeep Sardesai, Monday to Friday 9 p.m. only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics. Koi dud ke se dula hua nahi hai. Unmatched eye, unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's hundred percent news that matters, it's news today with Rajdeep Sardesai, Monday to Friday 9 p.m. only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics. Koi dud ke se dula hua nahi hai. Unmatched eye, unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's hundred percent news that matters, it's news today with Rajdeep Sardesai, Monday to Friday 9 p.m. only on India Today TV.